Ballet Obscura Basic Center Floor Steps. For the complete beginner, this is a short list of basic center floor steps. In addition to the correct posture and body alignment, now would be a good time to introduce the use of some muscles. There are approximately 600 muscles in the body, and they all have their own set of uses. To introduce them all right now would be quite daunting, and the pursuit of ballet should be an enjoyable one. For now, let's only introduce three muscle groups. These would be the abdominals, the gluteals, and the adductors. The abdominals are the muscles on your stomach. Do make use of them, but imagine flattening them instead of just sucking them in. Gluteals are the muscles in your derriere, or nature's built-in pillow. For ballet, we traditionally refer to it as the derriere. Imagine tightening up those muscles as if you were holding a quarter in between your cheeks. To perform any ballet step correctly, you'll need to be tightened up the whole time, from before you start the movement until after you finish. Adductors are the muscles in the inner thighs between the knees and the hips. They are not often used in the normal course of day-to-day -day routine, but are quite significant and important for ballet. Place a beach ball or something close to that size between your knees and squeeze the knees together. What you feel are the adductors in use. See if you can actively make use of these three sets of muscles when you perform all your ballet steps. And remember, there are many more sets of muscles you will need to learn to use to accomplish even the most basic of ballet steps correctly. These steps are in no particular order. Balance, the rocking step. No, not like rock and roll, but imagine you are in a small boat on a big lake with choppy water and you are gently rocking from side to side. For this, let's start with a tap step called ball change. Put your right foot behind you and step back in front, changing your weight as you move. The thing is to keep the heel of the back foot off the floor. Step back and forward a few times to get comfortable with the movement keeping the back heel up. This is called ball change in tap dance. Now step to the side with the back foot and repeat the ball change with the other foot in back. When you repeat this by alternating with one step to the side and one ball change, you are performing a balancé. Chassé, the chasing step. Imagine one foot chasing the other. Demi plie fifth position, pull the weight to the front foot and slide the foot forward. Then bring the back leg up to where the front foot is to meet the front leg by squeezing the legs together as you do a relevé. You are now in a fifth position, demi point, or on half point. Lower the heels and repeat the movement from there, bending into a demi plie and sliding with a front foot forward then letting the back foot chase it. This can be done slowly and with a relevé or faster with the legs coming together with a spring into the air. For now, let's just get the concept with a relevé. Arabesque, to the back, usually meaning with the leg lifted to the back. For now, simply lift your straight leg in back of you. For now, it doesn't matter which way you are facing. It might be safer if you held on to something, just in case. As your leg gets higher, you'll notice that your hips will start to roll forward and your back will begin to arch. For the beginning levels, only lift the leg as high as you can while keeping your hips and back in place. When just starting out, it is best to keep the arabesque low. Focus on correct body alignment and balancing on one leg. Pas de Basque, the step of the Basque from native folk dance. 
if you are mathematically oriented, imagine performing a series of alternating right angles as you step. There are many variations of pas de basque. Right now, we will focus on the basic form as that they all have in common. Start in fifth position. Step to the side with your right foot, then bring your left foot to passe. Then, step forward with the left foot, lift the right leg to arabesque, then close the right leg to fifth position in back. Now, you can repeat it to the other side. Pas de bourre, the step of the bourre, from French folk dance. Start with your right foot in coupe in back. Put the right foot down, step to the side with the left foot, then bring the right foot in front of the left, then lift the left foot to coupe in back. You will be taking three steps, back, side, and front. Remember to start with one foot in coupe in back and finish with the other foot coupe in back. When you get that, the back and side steps are on demi point and then come down to demi plie when the back foot is in coupe. Pas de cheval, step of the horse. This is a character ballet step. With a pointed foot, make a movement like a horse counting with its front hoof. There is a classical ballet variant of pas de cheval called fondue, which means to melt. Pas de chat, step of the cat. Let's do it without the jump part to begin with. Start in fifth position in demi plie with the right foot in front. Lift the right foot to passe, step to the side, then lift the left foot up to passe, and then bring the left foot down to fifth position, closing in front. When performing pas de chat with the jump, make sure to do the passe one right after the other, very close, but not exactly at the same time. Pay attention to making sure both feet are pointed the whole time. Very often, the second foot that goes up does not share the same pointing enthusiasm as the first. The difference between relevé and demi-point. In demi-point, or half-point, the heels are up with the toes and balls of the feet off the floor. A relevé is the movement of getting up to demi-point. Relevé to passe from fourth position. This is an important movement as it is fundamental to many steps, including pirouettes. By the way, pirouettes are not really considered to be a beginner's ballet step. To perform a pirouette correctly and safely, there are several foundational steps that must be learned first. I will define the building blocks of how to do the preparation, but not the spinning part. Start in fourth position in demi plie. Keep most of your weight forward on the front foot. Snap up with the relevé and at the same time pop your back foot up to passe. Make it a quick and abrupt movement. When you hit the position, you will be standing on one leg, the supporting knee straight, and with the working leg in retiré. Pay careful attention to your posture and body alignment. The body must be correct and the hips must be squared off and in line with each other. At the onset of the relevé, you will need to think of the end of the movement where you are up and you must be well balanced. Perform the movement to see if you can hold the balance on one foot on demi-point and with your hips and shoulders aligned. Bourre, the stuffed steps, linking many small steps together. Relevé in fifth position and take small steps. You can perform this in place or travel right or left, forward or backward or turn. Imagine you have a Kleenex tissue or a piece of paper between your thighs and you are holding it onto it tightly. You'll feel yourself using your adductor muscles to achieve this. Relevé and Sussieu. A relevé starts 
in demi plie and is finished up on demi point and a susu starts with a relevé and then comes back down to finish in demi plie imagine you're buying tickets to an airplane flight the relevé is a one-way fare the susu is a round trip échappé the escaping step this can be done with a jump or with a snapping relevé movement Start in fifth position in demi plie, and then jump into the air, landing in second position. Do it with a relevé, just snap up with one quick movement to second. Either way, make sure to start and finish the movement evenly balanced on both feet. A chape can also be performed to fourth position instead of second position. Subrousseau. Any jump landing in the same position. This is an important step to practice to prepare you for many other jumps. It is the easiest to learn and should be practiced to help you with your muscle memory to help you correctly and safely perform all other jumps. Start in first position in demi plie. Of course, later you can do this from any other position, but first position is a good place to start jump into the air and remember to land again in first position and in demi plie it sounds easier than it is actually so it is important not to take advantage of this step the better this step is done the better all other jumps become keep the body properly aligned at all times before during and at the end of each jump Start in demi plie and jump using the muscles in your legs as well as the muscles in your feet. Feet have muscles and should be used for more than one reason. As said in an earlier video, when the feet are off the floor in ballet, they must be pointed. This will be more easily achieved by pushing off the floor with the legs and the feet. Imagine that your feet are already pointed before they fully leave the floor. There will be a normal automatic tendency to stick out the derriere when in plie and pulling the shoulders back when in the air. Imagine your body is in a clear glass tube and it has no choice but to stay straight up as you jump. Also, the arms have their own job to do, which is, for now, to remain stationary and not to move. The wiggling body and moving arms are most often an indicator that you are using parts of your body to help the jump. Make sure to use only the needed sets of muscles to propel the body into the air, namely the muscles in the legs and the muscles in the feet. Also, it is important to stay tightened up the whole time from the onset to the end. Don't tighten up only on the way up as the landing will not be graceful or safe for the legs. Easier? No. Correct? Yes. When landing from any jump, the weight must be absorbed by the balls of the feet, not the heels. Loosening up on the landing will bring an ungainly clunking sound of the heel hitting the floor. Remember, as with all ballet steps, a jump is not finished until it is finished. Changement, to change. Using the same movement as for soubresaut, this time start in fifth position. When you jump, you will land in fifth position with the other leg in front. Make sure that both legs are doing the changing an equal amount, not just one. To make it appear clean, imagine doing two movements, an opening movement on the way up and a closing movement on the way down. Remember to use the heel ball toe on the way up and very carefully try to get the toe ball heel as you land. Si son, a jump from two legs to one. Start in fifth position in demi plie, standing on both feet evenly. Jump into the air and land in arabesque. Make sure to be well balanced on the landing. Assemble, the assembling movement. This is essentially the reverse of a sisson. Start in arabesque, jump into the air and land in fifth position in demi plie. 
make sure to actively start tightening the adductor muscles at the beginning of the assemblé movement. Balate, the bounding motion, jumping with a weight change each time. Start with the right foot six inches off the floor and out to the side. Bring the right foot to coupé and then jump to change legs, bringing the left foot to coupé, then extend the left leg to the side. Now, see if you can perform it in one jump. This can also be done to the front, back, or at angles. Jeté, the throwing step, a jump from one leg and landing onto the other. First, we will try this one without the jump. Start with the right foot in coupé in back. Brush that foot out to the side, then close the right foot in front to fifth position in front, then lift the left foot to coupé in back. Repeat it slowly a few times, changing feet each time. Now we will add the jump. Brush the leg out to the side, then jump to change feet, landing in coupé. When you are comfortable with that, then do the whole movement with one jump to change each time. Imagine you are performing this at the top of a flag pole. There is only room for one foot, so you will need to jump from one foot to the other, but you must land in the same spot each time. Check to see that you are well balanced with each landing. With practice, you will be able to perform one jeté right after the other with a bouncing or ballon quality. Now that we have a few of the basic ballet center floor steps, it's time to move on to the next part of a ballet lesson, going to the corner and performing steps across the floor. You can help us get the word out. Give us a like, subscribe, follow, and share.